Hello and welcome to Guess the Football of the Series in which you're looking for the player from the five clubs that they have played for and today we are joined by the football mastermind champion Lias. How you doing? I'm good bro. I actually, now that you mention it. Let's go! Let's go! I carry this around bro. This <laughs> when I go on trips it comes in my luggage, when I go abroad it comes with me. <laughs> no nah, but all jokes aside, thank you for having me on bro. Appreciate it. I'm a big fan of the channel, a uh, big fan of what you do so this is long overdue. I mean with your with your knowledge you should you should walk in here pretty easily and hopefully win the episode. Um, usually I'm playing against like FIFA YouTubers who don't really know much about football so. Fairs but I've seen you against Eric Frank bro. I mean hey that, that's that's a top dog in my opinion when it comes to this and you give him a good, I feel like you give him a good, a good game. Yeah, Eric is a different breed. He, he just knows stuff that just kind of it, it baffles me. Like the stuff he knows from like FA Cup era. He knows like every FA Cup went up to like 1990, something like that. Those aren't the ones that bewilder me. The ones that are crazy to me are when he's like, he's talking about the starting 11 of uh, Zambia or the starting 11 of like Tanzania. It's crazy. Yeah, he knows the random African nations, all, all the players, and I don't know how he does it, but he usually beats me. Um, but yeah, shall we dive into today's episode? Absolutely. Right, let's get into the first player, and you can go in any order of these. It's not in career path order, so we can choose what's the least obvious to the most obvious. That's what I tend to do anyway. And the first club I will give you is AC Milan. Okay. That's why I have to, I have to guess from the jump now. AC Milan is tough, right? But... Because there's so many, there's so many elite get, players. But the thing with you, you may have gone like very, very niche when it comes to this. I'm going to guess Matthew Flamini. I respect that guess. I do respect it. It's not, <laughs> it's, but it's not enough before. respect to say I got it, right? Not quite. <laughs> the next club is pretty close. It's Inter Milan. AC and Inter. Mm. Oh, you see, that's not even a great. That's not even a, like a, a give me either, because there's so many players that have played between no. the two. Um, AC and Inter. I'm gonna guess again. Is it Antonio Cassano? It's not Cassano. I respect these guesses. I respect them. The next club. Ooh. Let me go for Manchester City next. AC Inter Manchester City. Oh. The thing is, there's not that many players that have played for both AC Milan and Manchester City. Um, I'm going to take a wild guess here just because I'm not sure if this player has played for City or not, but I know he's played for Milan and Inter. I don't know if he's played for City, but is it is it Sully Montari? I like it again. But I don't it's think not he played for City. No, I know he played been... for a few English clubs, but not City. No. Yeah, he did Portsmouth and. Yeah, and Sunderland, I think, too. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, next club, back in Italy with Juventus. AC, Inter, Juve, and Milan. Yo, this is tough, man. The only one I can think of three of those clubs is Cancelo. In Inter, Juve, and, and City. But he didn't play for Milan. AC, Inter, and Milan. Oh, oh, it's Vieira. Patrick Vieira for two oh, points. Oh, it's Vieira. Oh, my God. Yeah. You were pretty close with the Flamini, though. You're going for that Arsenal yeah, French yeah, midfielder. Yeah. Nah, now that I so think about it, right though, lines. I should have gotten that at City. City should have... Oh, that's that's annoying. The thing is, though, it could have been Mario Bellatelli with the yeah. both the Milans and uh, City. So yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of a throw to start you off, but nice two points. Okay, you know, we were talking off camera, bro, about... Oh, can I... Can I um, are these going to be too difficult? Should I make it too... This mm -hmm. is what we're doing? Okay, this is going to be a good game, then. My first team is yeah let's start it this way monaco Ooh, ricardo carvalho decent guess but uh not quite yep. the next uh team is roma hmm i'll try stefan el Shawari. again another commendable guess but not quite yeah the next team is manchester city now 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 i need to put these three together city monaco and it was the other one roma roma yeah it's not my con oh, is it oh you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is my con, but be honest with me. If I had told you Inter instead of Manchester City, would you have gotten it? Maybe not. I think, yeah, the Man City does stick out. Oh, is, man. Uh, you know, I initially had yeah. it in my notes as Inter before Manchester City, and I, I changed it last minute. I yeah. was like, mm, maybe I can throw it. Oh, but then, that's, but then that's, that's more, a great guess for you. You see, that's the more interesting thing about the, the order, though, is the smaller team in his career will stick out more, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, true. Inter, Inter Roma, for so example, like, like there's so many players that have played for both. Mm. So if you did like Cesc Fabregas's career and you put like Como at the start, yeah, you that know would it's stick him. out really yeah, yeah, yeah. badly. All right, I'm a rookie, man. You know, what? mastermind is my area. This I'm still getting used to. <laughs> Let's go. Which player should we use next? Oh, yeah, we'll go for this guy. Uh, we'll start off with Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur, huh? Is your player... So you, could... <laughs> you know what's funny, eh? <laughs> No, I'll leave it till the end. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is your player William Gallas? William Gallas. 
I think I could be wrong, but he might only have four. Oh, he just has five, and it might be. I've already shot myself in the foot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's either four or five. He might be right, to be fair, uh, but it's not William Gallas. The next club is AC Milan. Spurs AC Milan. All right, I need I need a second to think about this one. Spurs AC Milan. You know what I'm trying to do right now? I'm trying to go through that 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 red nap AC Mil uh, that red nap Spurs team like uh, early 2000s. Trying to go through each of their players, see who's played for for both yeah. of them. I'm trying to think in general. AC Milan and Spurs. Who's played for the both of them? And even that, I'm I'm struggling to to, to think of one. AC Milan Spurs. Pfft, I can't think of, I can't think of a single player. I'm gonna take a, a hazard a guess. Maybe he played for Spurs. Is it Ray Wilkins? I won't give you Ray Wilkins. Yeah, bro, I, right now, Spurs and Milan, that's <laughs> that's threw me off. That's a really harsh guess if I give you Ray Wilkins. Yeah, yeah, but, fair. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not that good. Good, <laughs> good old knowledge. Yeah. Um, the next one I will give you is in the Syria, Genoa. Genoa. Oh, that didn't help me whatsoever. AC Milan, Genoa. <sighs> this is a tough one, bro. Unless I'm missing something like super obvious here. AC Milan. AC Milan. I, I'm going to stick with AC Milan and Spurs. Let me think more because Genoa... Genoa yeah. has not helped me one bit. AC Milan. I'll, I'll let you know he played more games for Genoa than uh, Milan and Spurs combined. Oh, that's, for real? That's my appointment there, basically. Yeah. Yo, this is tough. I just think maybe Italian players that have played for Spurs. Let's try to go down that route. Wow. <laughs> Let me just throw something in it. Throw some, uh, a spanner in the works. Just take take a, a random, random guess. Is it Marco Borrello? It's not Marco Borrello. <laughs> yo, this I, I like is it. crazy. I respect it. Spurs and Milan. Uh, uh, yo, I, I have no idea. The last two clubs definitely help you there. The next one I will give you is Benfica. Benfica? Mm hmm. Benfica and Spurs. Is this going to be one of those that when I hear the name, I'm just going to be like devastated? Think of the last club. You, you need to get it on the last club. Let's just put it that way. Oh man, Benfica and... The last club is a massive giveaway. I'm, I'm trying to go through my head right now. Just, just trying to think of Benfica players that, that I've even played. That I can remember that I've played in the Prem. Do we do passes in this game? <laughs> you can if you want. You yeah, can, I'm you passing. Can I, I can't game. think of a single player yeah, for this. Pass. The final club is most known is Queen's Park Rangers. Oh no, it's not Tarapt. It's Adel Tarapt, yeah, for one point. <laughs> There you go. You see, it clicks right at the end with the QPR, oh, but before my that, days. It's, it's quite complicated. But he, yeah, it basically I... did that in appearance order. So he did like 10 games for Spurs, oh, yeah. uh, 14 for Milan, Genoa 28. That's a howler for me. 18. Oh my days, that's a howler for me. Because you know what, Genoa, I have no recollection of his time at Genoa. I just put it in there because it's, it's got a lot of more appearances than <laughs> yeah, other teams. Yeah. Um, you also have Fulham and Al Nassar, but not the Saudi one, the Dubai. Fulham would Fulham would have helped uh, me. League. Fulham would have helped me. Genoa, I was just like, what? That, mm. That's okay. Three three though. Yeah, not fair enough. At least I got it in the end. All right, man. Now I got I got to up the up the ante here then. All right, the first club is Fulham. Mm. Not Louis Saha, is it? No, but he, that's a banger of a player right there. Yeah. The next play, uh, the next team is Stoke. This is like 2010 era, maybe a little bit earlier. Could be wrong completely. I'm struggling to even think of like a player that's played for both kind of thing. I'm like holding my breath here, hoping you don't say the name. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is to give me an advantage this round as well. I know. No, I'm struggling. Like I literally can't get Fulham and Stoke together. Might be a goalie. Hmm. Nah. Don't know why, but I'm going to say Steve Sidwell. It is not Steve Sidwell. <laughs> the next club is Bolton Wanderers. Let's see Bolton on this series. Bolton is such a like, it either gives you the answer or it's the most mm -hmm. like, painful <laughs> thing in the world. Again, I'm struggling with just like Bolton and Stoke. <laughs> just can't get a connection there at all. I mean, surely he's English at this point, being three English teams off the bat. Now I'm, I'm going to pass. I honestly don't know. All right. The next club. I'm looking at this list right now thinking, who should I give you next? Do I do I outsmart myself like I did the first time or do I, I, I stick to the plan? The next club is Monaco. Hmm. Which makes me think French. This one's really stumped me. Good. This is how you. F this is how I felt last round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, killer. This series. If I'm giving you a hint, like like you helped me out, Bolton. Out of all the clubs I've said, is the one where he played the most so far. Okay, I, I don't know why, but I'm gonna say Ivan Campo. No, good guess though. I remember him playing lots for uh, Bolton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the final club. I have the, the choice really of two. But I'm gonna give you the one where he played the most at Chelsea. Chelsea. I know Chelsea Bolton is Gary Cahill, but he ain't got the other clubs. And that doesn't help. In my head, it's he's gone through Monaco's academy, come to England, maybe like Chelsea, and then gone out on loan to these teams, kind of thing. <laughs> this is like fan fiction. 
I'm just got French stuck in my head. That's the problem. <laughs> he's probably not even French, this guy. And you know the thing is too. This this one was supposed to be like my last one that I did. Like, okay, wrap it up with a good one. But you you, you forced my hand too early. <laughs> get, get the tough ones out. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I'm really strong. I'm really. I'm really the, the Chelsea Monaco links. I've only got is like Falcao. Fabregas, but they've not done like Bolton, have they? So. Mm. Fabregas at Bolton is a memory I don't have if, if they have. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't lie. I, I may have stitched you up as well, too, because there was definitely one club I probably I, I probably could have helped you out with if I said it, but... <laughs> no, you put in Fulham and uh, Bolton instead. Well, to be fair, you said, you said Bolton. Bo Bolton, Bolton I would have yeah. said anyways, but... Yeah, yeah. I know it's not, but I'm going to say Victor Moses. It's not. Because he's got, he's got Chelsea and Stoke. So, so you lost this round, right? Yeah, let me know the extra... I was going to say, let me tell you, if you would said. you have gotten it if I told you Barcelona? It's not, it's, it can't be Marcus Alonso, No, Nah, is it? nah. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten it, period. That's the then. only Chelsea... No, no, that's the only Chelsea, Bolton, Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The player is Ider Gujanson. Oh, that's, oh, do you know what? If you put... If I put Barca, I would have niced you. Yeah, yeah. I felt under pressure, man. I'm sorry. Tarab had me on ropes, bro. Yeah, that, to be honest, they're kind of, like, kind, of, kind of similar ilk of players. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're back in the game, then. Back in the game. Let me start you off with, for the next player, what we'll start off with is Napoli. Napoli, okay. I like Napoli a lot, actually. That's one, that's one of my, my more preferred clubs, so mm. let's think Napoli. I was in Naples in the summer, and it's actually ridiculous. Still, the love for Diego Maradona is unbelievable. It's crazy, man. My mom and my sister went uh, this summer as well, too, actually. And yeah, they, of course, Maradona anyways, but the, the love they have for their club, that squad from last season, are like they're immortalized in that city. Mm -hmm. Great fans. I'm gonna go Pepe Reina. <laughs> he's a he's a favorite on the channel. Oh, I thought you were gonna say I got him. Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, every every football tic tac toe Pepe Reina every episode. <laughs> There's so many clubs. Fills in so many. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next club I will give you is Juventus. Ooh. Automatically, my 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 mind went to Higuain, but that's I feel like that's too obvious. I think Napoli Juve. Though, I don't think that's a move that happens all that often. Um, Napoli Juve. Nah, Higuain is just it's too obvious. But is it so obvious that that's why you gave it to me so I wouldn't think of him? Mm, they are playing mind games with me. All right, let's let's go with it. Higuain. It's not Gonzalo. Yeah, it's too obvious. The next. Club, I will give you. Mm, we'll go Tottenham Hotspur. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, Napoli Spurs. Mm. You see, this is what I should have known, though. Once I gave you a super hard one, I was opening myself up. To... <laughs> All rules are out the window. You've set the bar now. You've set the bar. Yeah, Na Napoli Spurs. Oh, man. Oh, I know it. Is it Fernando Llorente? It is Fernando Llorente. Let's Dante. go. That is a great Let's chat. go. <laughs> Would have gone. Swansea City next, yeah. and then uh, Athletic Bilbao to end off. Obviously. Yeah, Bilbao would have been the would really? have been the banker. I think I think Swansea would have struggled. Yeah. Uh, Napoli though, for some reason there was this, this this memory in the back of my head that just immediately got unlocked. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. He always played like a great role at every club. Yeah, like he always knew what he needed to do. Like he never like pushed himself. Oh, I need to be starting every game. He knew that he was like that guy just to come on and be the target man like Juventus getting to the Champions League in uh, 15 was like because of him yeah yeah no that, that's true he's always been like that which is funny right because when he was at Bill Bell I remember he was rated so highly at Bill Bell like oh my like mm -hmm. yo he could go to a top European team and lead the line for them I remember that team of him Munayin Javi Martinez like he was a he was in the Spain World Cup team that won in 2010 so it, it's weird how his career panned out to be like you said like just the guy who's just happy to know his role and, and, and be on winning teams yeah yeah this one the order that I've done it in might give it away. I hope not. But um, yeah, let's do it. The first club is Real Madrid. Is it Fabinho? No, it's not Fabinho. Does Fabinho have five clubs though? I think. Oh yeah, probably a team in Brazil. Because be now, now the Saudi league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's not Fabinho. Yeah, yeah. The next club is Panathinaikos. Ooh. My Greek knowledge is surprisingly good. Oh I no! Don't know why? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Is it my Colossian? Oh man, it is my Colossian. <laughs> I don't know why my Greek knowledge is like, it sticks out so much like when players go out to Greece. Oh um, but yeah, no. My Colossian, great, great player. What if I had told you Milan next? Would you have said Essien or would you have? I don't think I would have said Essien if you did Real Madrid AC. I would have gone like, I don't know, Klaas van Huntelaar. Maybe I would have said of him. Instead, that's not, that's not a good, that's, that's not good. Two is, two is not good at all. Panathinaikos. Yeah, oh, one of the Nikos just sticks out like a sore thumb. It does, kind of to be fair. All right, let's go. Um, hmm. I've got like four plays here. 
and it really does depend how nice I want to be. Do you know what? I'm going to go for this guy. This guy's got a great career. I'm going to start off with Galatasaray. Ooh, Galatasaray is every niche player's favorite landing spot, so. Yeah, right at the end. <laughs> Galatasaray. Um, I'm going to go Wesley Schneider. It's not Wesley Schneider. Uh, the next club I'll give you is Roma. Galatasaray and Roma. Hmm. I'm thinking Zaniolo, but that's that's too obvious. I don't even know if he has five clubs in his career. So let's let's be a bit more adventurous than that. Roma Galatasaray is difficult, man. Because there's just mm -hmm. so many Galatasaray like players, but like narrowing it down to to one. <sighs> wow. Is it Kevin Strootman? It's not Kevin Strootman. I like that guess though. Yeah, I don't even know if he played for Galatasaray, mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to think niche Roma players. Yeah. Uh, the next club I'll give you is Sevilla. Sevilla Roma. That I think helps a little. There's a name in my head, but I don't think he played for Roma. That's the thing. There's a like a name firmly in my head, and I know if it's him, I'm gonna be annoyed because he's actually one of my favorite players, or he was one of my favorite players. But I don't know if he played for Roma. He played for a few Serie A teams, but I don't know if Roma was one of them. Oh, is it Steven Nzonzi? It is Steven and Zonzi. Yeah, you know what well I was going to say? I was going to say Jovetic, nice. but I didn't think he played for, for Roma. No, he doesn't. He's got Inter and Fiorentina. Yeah, he's got Fiorentina. City as well, um, too. Yeah, Monaco. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, Ferris. And Zonzi, yeah. what is it? Three, right? Yeah, three points okay, for him. Decent. Would have ended oh, off with Blackburn and then Stoke City to finish off. Mm -hmm. World Cup winner, Steven and Zonzi. I have to be so careful now because I know my players are good players like for this game, but it's the order that for me is killing me right now. The order yeah, that yeah. I'm giving it to you is too big. The first team I'm going to give you is... Olympic Lyon, the team I'm wearing actually right now. You can't see it, but I'm wearing a Lyon shirt. Very nice. I've got Ajax's third kit from the season. Nice one. Might be away. It's the, it's the white one, whatever that one is. Uh, Olympic Lyon. Um, let's try... I don't know if he's even got five clubs. Good old Memphis. Memphis the pie. Yeah, he has five now. PSV, United, Lyon, Barca, Atleti. I guess, yeah. Good yeah. guess, but no, it's not Memphis the pie. The next club that I'm going to give you is Olympic Marseille. Ooh. It's interesting because there's not many that do that change it could be or oh, somebody that i know has just played for like pretty much all the french teams i'm gonna try hatton ben Arfa. no <laughs> if i got it if you I have got, got it, it. <laughs> there we go Four the minute for... you said marseille and leon there haven't been many players i was like oh, he's gonna get it yeah oh this is terrible i'm telling you for the order is killing me because maybe if i had said psg off oh. i'd have gone down that french route anyway because yeah I think if you... What was the other team he did in England? I think he did Hull, didn't he? Yeah, he did Hull in Newcastle. Yeah, Hull City. I Whoa. think if you maybe did Hull City to start and then went maybe to France and then back to Newcastle at the end, something like that. Oh, uh, man. Okay. I need to basically make sure that I kill this last... Because I have one more, right? Yep. So I'm on an 11, you're on 9. Yeah, I need to like one, one guess this one and then give you like the most impossible player of all time. <laughs> maybe. Right then. Into your final player. Yep. And we are going to start off with Roma. Oh. <laughs> All right, that eliminates me getting a first go. <laughs> Roma. Hmm. Let's think. Nah, that's too bait. Okay. Um, maybe it's not, though. Nah, it's too bait. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's go with Mira Lempianic. Good one. He is a good one for the series. Great one for TikTok. Don't Tech, tell me. Don't not... tell me good one, man. You good had player. my heart racing for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Next club we will give you is Palma. Parma. I'll give you the error a little bit. Parma. Wow. The one player that came to mind was Cassano, but I already asked him. You're evil if you would if you would go for a player I've already said in the episode. Because <laughs> Cassano is the player yeah. that I'm thinking about right now when it comes to Parma Roma. But when you say eras, Parma were not great when Cassano was there, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Parma of the old days, though. They had Cannavaro, never played for Roma. They had Buffon, never played for Roma. Turam, never played for Roma. Crespo, never played for Roma. Who else did Parma have in that team? Wow, Par Parma, Roma, who else did they have? I'm going to guess Cassano. It's not Cassano. Yeah, Ferris. Next club I'll give you. Mm, I've actually changed my order as well since you were uh, talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for Sao Paulo next. Sao Paulo? Hmm. Yo, this guy has to be Brazilian then, surely. So now I'm thinking Brazilians who played for Roma. There's one that's like in my head firmly, but I don't know if he played for Parma. If you gave me Sao Paulo and this guy is from Poland, I'm going to lose it, man. I'm just banking here that this player played for Parma at one point. Is it Julio Baptiste? It's not Baptiste. Good, uh, good guess there. The next club, another Brazilian one, Flamengo. Roma and, and Flamengo? Mm. Yo, you gave me a tricky one, I feel, for this one. Roma and Flamengo. Maybe. 
Yes, I'll, probably... I'll, I'll let you know he's played for Flamengo three different times. Three different times? Brother, make yeah. up your mind, man. <laughs> he just loves them. He wants to go back. Three different... Yeah, why leave them, though? I'll let you know he's Brazilian at this point. Yeah, so, I mean, bro, if you play for Flamengo three different times, he better be Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. Flamengo and Roma. I'd probably disregard Roma. I'd go for the two Brazilian teams in Parma. Flamengo and Parma. Yo, my Parma knowledge of like their golden era does not does not go back that far. I'll let you know he's 2002, 2004 at Parma. So it's not their golden, golden era, but still. Yeah, like, they're still, still they a good team. Declined. 2002 to they're still a good team then. Yeah, yeah. 2002, 2004 at Parma, at Parma. Oh, I know who it is. It's Adriano. It is Adriano. Well done oh, for two points. Oh no, Levels that's not enough, me. man. I'm literally at 11. I have to give you the most impossible player of all time. Basically. Last club would have been Inter, obviously. Played that twice. Um, I just think he's, he's such an underrated player again. I of think course. injuries were a little bit of a thing as well. Nah, of course. Adriano game, is, is, but... is... You talk about streets won't forget. That's the game. ultimate what could have been player, right? Mm -hmm. What happens if we draw, by the way? Do we go fi uh, sudden death? We could do a sudden death if you want to draw here. Yeah. I don't think we've had a draw before, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm going to be the first one. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Honest, honestly, let's go for it. This is a player I wasn't going to use, but let's go for it. The first team is Porto. I have done it before, so I think if you give if you've given me this guy, did you put him? Did you DM me him? Uh, no, because I record I recorded just before this one, so I've done the one just then. Um, and the player I guess then was Thiago Silva. No, it's not Thiago he was Silva. Technically Porto beat. Yeah, no, no, get rid of him. <laughs> Go on. Oh, is that, is that your first guess then? I just wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah Thiago Silva. Just get him out. Okay, of no, it's not Thiago Silva. Meant, basically, the next oh. guess is Santos. It's Brazilian then. Or have you have you just been an evil person and given me a Brazilian that I guess we'll never know. <laughs> do you know what? I swear. Does he play for Santos though? I do know Danny Osvaldo went out to I think it was the Argentinian leagues though. I don't think he went Brazil. I know he's got Boca Juniors, but I don't know if he did Brazil as well. But I know he played for Porto very early on. He's got like Southampton and Oh, do you know what? Yeah, go Danny Osvaldo. It is not Danny Osvaldo. Oh. The next oh, team is Fenerbahce. Mm -hmm. My heart is beating like a thousand miles an hour right now. <laughs> Each one of these clues has to be perfect. Would, oh, I don't know if Pepe did play in the Brazilian leagues, but I don't know if he'd even have five clubs, to be honest. But did he do... What team... Yeah, he was Fenerbahce, wasn't he? Was he Gala? Don't get those two mixed up anyway. Where did he play for a season? He went from Real to Turkey and then to Porto. I don't know if he'd have another two teams. That's I think he's only got four. Who else could do that? I think Pepe would be too easy. You want to you want to get that draw? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you've gone probably older era like me with the Adriano now. He's in like Porto's Champions League winning team. I don't think it is but him, but I'll go for Pepe. It is not Pepe. No. The next team is Flamengo. See, I've opened this can of worms by going into the Brazilian league. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Flamengo is the club he's played the most times for. Interesting. Ooh, I wonder if you end off with... I'm trying to think ahead and think what would your last team be. I swear Z Roberto was Flamengo. I don't know if you'd give me him. I don't think he even played in Portugal. Like, yeah. He might have done Turkey, but I don't think he did Portugal. I swear, I swear... Fred, not not Fred from Man United, but the the striker Fred was Flamengo. Oh, this is killing me. This is killing. Me. I need to get this. I need. To be fair, I need a point at the end. So the last club <laughs> will hopefully give it me. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll go Fred. Let's go Fred, the uh, striker. It is not Fred. And this is the last guess, right? Yep. And I. <laughs> I have a few clubs I can pick from. And again, the, the name of this this video for me has been the order that I give these clubs in. So. This last club, I have I have to make it perfect if I want to get the sudden death. They would, they're all so much more bait than the ones I just gave you. The question is, which is the least bait? Surely, surely if you want to be nice and give me the most bait. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to give you the, the final club is Juventus. Ooh. I think I've got, yeah. Is it Diego? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man! I think you've been quite mean not putting Wolfsburg and Atletico Madrid in. I know, bro. I was trying to, I was trying to get the extra time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. man, I thought I had you. If I had given you any other, like, if I had given you Atletico, Werder Bremen, Wolfsburg, uh, Atleti, mm. they would have all like that. That's it. Yeah, it gives it away for him. That's a good. It's a good order that you, I didn't know. Well, I kind of got it at the end with the Flamengo and the uh, Juve. I just remember this. The other player in my head was Lucio. I don't know if you would have given me him. Yeah, Lucio is another one of my all-time faves, actually. 
Yeah, I don't know if he did that much in Brazil though. He was more Bayern and Inter. Yeah, he was with Sao Paulo um, for a bit. Yeah, he he spent a lot of time in uh yeah. in Europe. Oh man, I was so close. Oh, to be fair, my FIFA roots have come in clutch there with Diego because yeah. that Wolfsburg card, like eighty four rated. Card, I, I know, just, I know. If you're it, a FIFA head, like that Diego card back in the day was was crazy. Unbelievable, like literally the best card of the game. <laughs> that's that's made Bateson's career that Diego card. <laughs> Oh, I was so you know, close to beating you. I lost by one point. But you know what? My nearly, debut on the channel, point. I'll take it. Yeah, debut on the channel. Just to run out. You know, I'll just beat the uh, football mastermind oh, champion. Not too yeah, bad. Here's the trophy for you, bro. I'm, I'm lifting I, it up for you. Yeah, at the do moment. I take the trophy? <laughs> You're gonna pass it over now. Yeah, yeah, we'll change it though. SDS Mastermind will change it to uh, guess the player, guess the footballer Mastermind. But bro, thank you for having me on though. It was fun. Yeah, pleasure to have you on. Really good uh, range of players today and some great guesses. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do check out the S. Drop them a follow on all the social medias and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video, and we'll catch you all next time.